What better way to start a coffee machine review than brew an espresso and a latte? So let's get it done. Now I've gone with the obvious choice with the San Remo all ground grinder. It pairs up beautifully along with the San Remo cube. The San Remo cube is undoubtedly an incredible looking espresso machine. And there is plenty of power for plenty of steam and it is capable of brewing very delicious espresso and milk based drinks. And if you're purchasing within Australia, then the San Remo Cube is the version R, which is the rotary pump model. It's such a quiet machine. Yeah, beautifully. I've already dialed this in, so I'm not going to have too many issues with this. That looks gorgeous. Oh, that crema is so delicious. And if you're out shopping for a quality espresso machine, then you've no doubt come across the San Remo Cube as it demands attention. And it's fair to say that some of you might already be sold on its design and showcasing looks. Right on. Steaming milk and brewing coffee at the same time. Hands free too. Beautiful. Nice pre-infusion there, got a gorgeous coffee coming out there. And the San Remo Cube comes in several colour options. And it would suit the eye-catching interior design of a boutique salon or barber, a high-end fashion store or funky food outlet. So if the question is, will it do low volume commercial coffee? Shake your hands, Josh. Absolutely it will. And it will make the obvious awesome looking home coffee machine as well. But this does lead me to two of the machine's functions that as a buyer, I would wanna understand and use them to maximize the machine's capabilities beyond just having a centerpiece for making great coffee. And this is where the San Remo Cube really does have value to offer. First, it's found within the San Remo app. This gives you full access to the machine's inner programming, where you can quickly set the boiler temperature, see real-time shot displays, as well as statistics on daily, weekly, and monthly for coffee and water consumption. You can set reminders for servicing, and then you have remote on and off of the espresso machine, as well as scheduling up to three times a day for programming the machine to turn on and off automatically. This app that you use to connect to the San Remo Cube, it shouldn't be overlooked. I mean, you can certainly use this coffee machine without ever opening this app, but it is a major function and you will wanna unlock the flexibility that allows you to say, open and close a business easily daily. And, and let's just say you're at home, you'll be able to have this machine up, hot and ready to use when you want it to be. And then also shutting down and saving power when it's not in use. And the second important feature to the San Remo Q-Bar is the ability to plumb this machine directly into the main water line using the braided hose that's included. And similar to the app, this is just something that you will wanna do with the San Remo Cube. You also have an additional wastewater pipe. Now you place this at the back of the large removable drip tray and it's gonna keep that empty always. And then it's the ease of never having to fill a water tank or remove a full waste tray that alleviates the regular chores whereby you can then just focus on brewing great coffee. It does have a 1.8 liter internal water tank, which is enough for say one to two people making a coffee daily, topping up water every second day or so. But for any other scenario with the rotary pump with inside the cube, you're just best off plugging this bad boy into the mains water supply. And then you'll be able to have that ability to connect proper water filtration with ease, which will then further extend the life of your investment. 
as well as with mechanical pre-infusion when lifting the lever halfway up. With the machine plumbed in, you'll get a good line pressure for great pre-infusion rather than just using the boiler pressure alone when it's tanked. So the Cube has a 1.9 litre heat exchanging boiler. It's not a dual boiler, so you don't have independent control over both the brewing and the steaming temperatures. One is offset by the other. But this shouldn't deter you if all you're after is a machine to brew espresso and steam milk at the same time, as it will do this. Temperatures at the brew head do vary depending on how much steam you want, but comfortably set the boiler to around 127 degrees Celsius, and then with a two to three second flush at the start of brewing, you will be getting those right temperatures for a great espresso. Now the pressure at the group head is set to around 8.5 to 9 bars. And in using the E61 group head, you will find reliability and consistency through shots back to back. And checking out the full barista kit that comes along with this machine, everything is consistent with the San Remo branding, and you receive a bunch of cool merch, like a neat t-shirt, a cool tote bag and some stickers. There's a cover for the espresso machine when it's not in use, and this is great for commercial businesses. Then there are those barista accessories, like the stainless steel tamp, a 350ml milk jug and a barista cloth as well as a cleaning brush. And if purchased within Australia, you also get IMS competition grade filter baskets across the full spectrum of dosing options and an IMS shower screen pre-installed. So you get a bunch of stuff that you may or may not care about, and then the rest is honestly worth around three to $400. Just make sure you ask for a t-shirt that fits. And the rest of the machine's details include a large, passively warmed cup tray, and those turnstile lever actuators for your steam or hot water. Now, I've come across people who aren't a big fan of the design or movability of these, but I actually find it easier to steam hands-free with the San Remo Cube. Using the San Remo app, with the rotary pump and then plumbing the San Remo Cube into the mains, is what makes this machine highly practical for light commercial use. And then mentioned in the beginning of this video, I feel like the San Remo Cube is destined to be on show, whether that's in a display home or a niche commercial setting. So if you have any further questions on the San Remo Cube R, add them in the comments section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Thanks for watching to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one.